Hey gang, Eric Andreas, your Guitar Sage here. Today we're going to learn how to play Mrs. Vanderbilt by Paul McCartney, Wings. And um, here we go. It's going to go something like this. I'll play the basic for you here. Um, try to keep you in line with a melody, maybe a lyric or two if I remember. And, um, and then I'll break it down to the it's in bits and pieces and all that and the chords and all that. So it's going to go something like this. Okay, so there you go. If you know that part of the song, which is actually long, a long chord progression, you know the whole song, because after that it's just repeat, okay? So let's talk about um, the chords, and by the way, I'm looking at my notes right here, that's why I keep looking down here, but um, I'm going to tell you about the chords, I'm going to tell you about the order, and then uh, the strumming, any other bits and pieces, okay? So if you don't know the names of these chords as I'm saying them out to you, then um, make sure you go to yourguitarstage.com, get the free ebook, get it anyhow. There's tons of free information in there. Uh, and I've got uh, many of these chords in that book, okay? So first one is A minor, and we'll worry about strumming later, remember, okay? So A minor, E minor, E7, and then an A minor again. So. So really each chord is being held out for four. One, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. Two, three, four. And that's basically the verses, okay? And then um, we'll see, we get to kind of the what's the use of worrying where he holds this E7 and then an A minor for three major three measures. What's the use of worrying? Then he holds it out for three measures and then he goes back into the So this is before the chorus. What's the use of worrying? Okay, so now we're going from uh, What's the use? It's an E7 of worrying. A minor, A7. Okay, so hang on, it gets a little tricky here. Um, so this is the bridge, if you will. So a D minor. This is a D minor with a C in the bass. Easy to play if you don't play your D minor like this for this song. Put your pinky right there, that frees up your third finger to play the bass note of the D string. So it's like, Leave me alone, Mrs. Vanderbilt. Pinky stays. This is a G slash B chord. So basically you play a G chord, but instead of a G in the bass, you play a B in the bass there and you bump your first finger into that low E string 
to mute it so you when you're strumming you get that nice low B sound okay so uh, D minor D minor with a C in the bass G with a B in the bass G that's the next chord so C. I've got C. Another measure C. Oh, two measures of E minor. Oh my own. And we're going into the solo, the sax solo. There's not enough sax solos around, by the way. Uh, D minor for two measures. Two measures of A minor. And then E7, A minor, back and forth. What's the use of worrying? What's the use of worrying? What's the use of anything? And that's D minor, D minor, A minor. Okay? If you know those chords, you know the whole song. Ah, but don't go anywhere. Let's talk about strumming. By the way, if you need help with strumming here on YouTube, type in your guitar stage strumming. And there's a whole regimen of strumming in the free ebook, so make sure you get that. Um, links below. Okay, so the strumming is going to go like this. Or you could strum it like one, two, and, and four, and one, two, and, and four, and. Okay, if you don't understand that, the book will help you. Um, one, two, and, and four, and. Some people go down, down, up, up, down, up which doesn't explain when you should do that, but nonetheless, um, that's how some people say it. Okay, so, strumming. Here's the strumming that would sound better. Okay, not complicated, so stop freaking out. I'm gonna show it to you, okay? It's gonna go like this. You're gonna go, okay, so it's just down up, so like, down, up, mute. So. And then you catch it, so you catch it up again. So you go down, up, mute, up. So. So the whole motif, a motif is a musical idea, is down, up, mute, up. That's it. And then loop that, right? So. Down, up, mute, up, and then again. Down, up, mute, up, and then again. Down, up, mute, up, down, up, mute, up. If you're new to strumming, then this will be a little bit complicated for you, okay? Um, otherwise, if you strummed a bit, you'll get this. So take your time. Don't beat yourself up. These sorts of things take some time to, to get to know, okay? Anything on the guitar is possible for you or anybody. There are no short fingers. There are only unskilled fingers that have not had enough time on the fretboard. If you get more time on the fretboard, man, you'll feel like your fingers grew, okay? So trust me when I say that. Bar chords, it's not you, it's not your hand, it's not the accident that you were in when you were a kid, or the dog bite like my 150-pound Rottweiler that bit this hand and my other dog that bit this hand. It has nothing to do with that. Or the arthritis that I have in five of my ten fingers. Um, it has nothing to do with that. It has to do with your ability to play. So, play, by God. Get these books, get these free ebooks. The resources are there for you. If you need more help, um, go to unstoppableguitarsystem.com, links below. I have a free uh, video series that you can't find anywhere else. Get the free ebook. Uh, if you have any questions about this video or anything else on YouTube that uh, I can answer for you about guitar, um, hit me up at Twitter and Facebook. Links are below. If you like animals like I do, please spay and neuter your animals, dogs and cats, and join me here for more videos. Hit thumbs up and subscribe and all that stuff. See ya. Thank you.